by refusing to wear the cap is selfish. I agree, Mr. Majestic. And what else is it? What did I just talk about? Ignorant. You refuse to learn. You have a soft nog noggin that gets rattled easy, and you refuse to wear the guardian cap. Yet HN, a running back, okay, wore it with no problem. And by the way, it doesn't look bad. The only reason he's not wearing it is for optics. That's it. It's by choice. He said there, you can't make a logical argument for not wearing the guardian cap. See what I'm saying? Tua not wearing the guardian cap is pure ignorance. That's it. And that's your title for this rant right there. Tua not wearing the guardian cap is pure ignorance. You know you get easily concussed, so you're not willing to protect yourself even more? Ignorant. You know you can't hold on to the football because that will bring on injuries? You still hold on to the football. You came back from a concussion and you took on a tackler. You went to the sidelines and you told the coach, I needed that. Pure ignorance. As much as we love the kid, and or as much as I love the kid and believe in him as a passer, I'm the first guy to tell you he does some stupid shit. Some ignorant shit. That's ignorant, testosterone-filled shit that he's doing. I'm not wearing the Guardian cap because that, you know, he talked about it. Oh, I hate that uh, that the concussions and everything because of what happened to me. Well, dude, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, Eric Lindros was the poster child before you, dude. And and after him came Sidney Crosby. And there was also Steve Young. So you're, you're not new, dude. And I love how he said, oh, I, I think I have the soundbite. I'm pretty sure I have the sound bite. Um, I think I saved it. How he talks about it. And it's funny. It's hilarious because he's so concerned about him on, on how he was, um, what's it called? Um, like, it's all on him now because of what happened with the with his injury that all of a sudden you know he's bothered by all of this here it is here's a sound bite listen to this i just think it's based off of whatever that individual feels that if if you feel like you can go you can go this is only i just think this is only becoming a thing just because of what what ended up happening two years ago for for myself within the sport, I hate that it, it's happened. But we don't look at boxers the same way. We don't look at hockey players the same way. But I just think because of what happened and the magnitude that that had, um, that it's becoming more of an issue uh, here in the league. Prisoner of the moment. Sometimes I tell you, Cam Ward, prisoner of the moment. Dolphin fans, uh, uh, Hurricane fans, draft him. Prisoners of the moment. Same bullshit. We don't think of hockey players and boxers. Yes, we do, bro. You're just a young. You're just a youngin, bro. You know nothing to a. You don't know shit about sports history, dude. I forgot more for sports history when I was 15 years old than Tua will ever know in his entire life. He's never heard of Muhammad Ali. The fuck you think the Parkinson's came from? Taking all the head blows. Eric Lindros, Steve Young, Sidney Crosby. Steve, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. We've been talking about this for decades. What are you talking about, dude? I told you we talked about this with Evander Holyfield. He doesn't follow boxing. He doesn't know jack shit about boxing. But those of us that follow boxing, we've we've I've had this discussion on my show. I mentioned it before but i've had this discussion years ago we've talked about how 
you remember how Evander Holyfield used to sound? And then you see him now? And he's punch drunk. And why? Because of all the head blows. This is a child talking about something that he knows nothing about. This is ignorance pouring out through the mic by Tua Tunga Vailoa. Because he doesn't know jack shit about sports history and the injuries. He's just, he thinks, oh, it's just because of me. No, dude, you're a lot, you're just part of a long list of Jim McMahon not being able to find his fucking home or his keys. You don't know jack shit to a. So don't profess what you don't know. We've been talking about this because I've been talking sports for 34 years. And I've been covering all kinds of concussed and all kinds of serious injuries like Muhammad Ali that all came from brain trauma and head trauma. So this didn't start with Tua. That's pure ignorance. That's pure freaking ignorance, bro. Come on, man. I'm not born yesterday. You want to pull that shit? Maybe you can pull it off, but I, I've been through it. <laughs> I, I This odometer has gone around several times already. I've seen the world of sports in every layer and every way possible. And there's pretty much nothing you're going to get by me that I haven't seen or experienced or watched. And when he spews that kind of shit, that's misinformation. That's fake news. You're just part of a long list of what we've been talking about for a long time. And Muhammad Ali was patient zero. 